the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost of the Trinity really is one in spirit. But in terms of teaching purposes, God is just a word that's used for creator. Christ is a word used for creation. Uh, and Holy Spirit is like, like a bridge for the sleeping Christ to make it back and remember the true Christ, the real Christ. So, so because the Holy Spirit is a bridge, uh, there seems to be form that is involved with the Holy Spirit. For example, in the Course, the Holy Spirit is called the voice for God. It's not even the voice of God. Because God doesn't have a voice. <laughs> so cool. God is just business. Not even a voice. But the voice for God, meaning the voice that speaks and represents God uh, to the illusion. And that voice is an illusion, because that voice will cease to seem to exist when it is no longer necessary. So it would be great when you reach the state and you, you say, I no longer have to listen to guidance anymore. Why? Because I am. Ooh, that's good. That's the... <laughs> That's the goal. <laughs> so when you say that Jesus speaks to you, or that you have the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit told you this, does the illusion, does the voice, does the illusion? Yeah, in the end, it's, that voice is, is just a, a time device. It's, it's a, a device that's being used with time. So, yeah, a lot of times when I'm going around telling parables, or I'm talking to somebody, and I, I say, well, the Holy Spirit guided me, or Jesus guided me, those are symbols, those are part of the teaching device. And those will get used a lot. Um, in fact, part of it is starting to just get comfortable with that, and to not misuse that. The ego can be sitting back there and, and be saying, Oh, I kind of like this guidance thing. I can just do about anything, any well thing I please doing, and I'll just call it guidance. <laughs> Did you take the garbage out? I was not guided to take the garbage out. And then the other partner says, I'm not guided to take the garbage out either. You see, and so this is where, you know, you got to watch this ego, it's very clever, you know. Well, my Holy Spirit told me, well, actually my Holy Spirit told me, and you can tell when there's conflicting guidance from the Holy Spirit, and you start hearing this word, my, coming out, that this is, a, this is part of the ego's trick. Remember how I said the ego could quote scripture? The ego can take any concept and, and say, oh, I think I'm going to take over this concept uh, to preserve itself. So this is where it's, it's very sneaky. And you actually have to come down to an experience we were talking about yesterday, how you feel. You're feeling happy, light, peaceful, joyful, you know, that that's when the guidance is coming and you're listening and following. If, if you listen to guidance and follow guidance and don't feel joy, then you've got a discernment lesson <laughs> going on there because the Holy Spirit inspires joy. <laughs>